guys, this is Camry, and thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to be cleaning my glass stove top and my oven. So if you want a little motivation, just stick around. To clean my stove top, I'm going to start out with some Barkeeper's Friend, and I just sprinkle that all over. Then I'm going to be making my homemade vinegar solution, and I just take an empty bottle. I'm just reusing a method bottle and I pour about one cup of distilled white vinegar in there. Then I take my dish soap and I just do a big old squirt in there. So I don't measure, but it's about two to three tablespoons possibly. Then I add some tap water and that's about one cup of tap water as well. I put the lid back on, give it a little shake and it's ready to go. Come back to my stove and I'm going to spray that vinegar solution all over the barkeeper's friend and make like a pasty consistency. And I'm going to get my stainless steel scours that I got at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use that for scrubbing. I'm going to put on some disposable gloves and get scrubbing. I always wear reusable gloves when I'm scrubbing with chemicals like this just because the chemical reaction is not good for you and it shouldn't be touching your skin so you're gonna have to scrub as much as you need to in order to remove all of the cooked on stickiness that you have on there so I just put my elbow grease in it and get all that off use a paper towel for this step just because of the black yuckiness that comes off of the stove and it's usually greasy so I don't want to put that on a towel that will go in my washing machine. Once I get all that off I bring a warm wet rag over and I just wipe off all of that leftover solution. Now I'm going to bring over a dry towel and just buff out everything and just make sure that it's all dry. Alright, so now it's time to tackle this oven. It's in pretty bad shape, so let me turn on the light here so you can see. Yeah, it's really good. After I take out the racks, I'm going to bring back this vinegar solution and spray down my entire oven with it, just soaking everything. Then I'm going to bring in the barkeeper's friend and just sprinkle that all on the bottom of the oven where that baked on yuckiness is. Then I'll be using these copper scours that I got at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to just scrub the bottom of the oven with that. Then after I'm finished scrubbing the bottom, I'm going to move on to the sides using that same scouring pad.
After I'm finished scrubbing, I'm going to bring in the, a big bowl of hot water and I'm just going to use that to rinse my rag regularly as I wipe off all of the grease and residue from my oven. Okay, I'm going to give it another quick spray down and then wipe it out one more time with a wet rag. All right, now I'm just gonna bring in a dry towel and just buff away any leftover residue and dry out my oven. All right, so now I'm gonna start on this door. I'm gonna start out using my barkeeper's friend. I'm gonna bring back that scouring pad and my vinegar spray. And then get scrubbing away here. All right, to get in between the two parts of the door, I need to take a screwdriver and loosen these two top screws. And that will make the handle and the grill fall off, but that's fine, we'll just put it back on later. And those need to be cleaned anyways. before the 
putting it back together because we've got some sticky residue up here at the top that needs to be cleaned off. 